Tonight, there is a fierce urgency of now as political candidates return to Georgia days before early voting ends. Atlanta News First, Bridget Spencer, live in Midtown. And Bridget, this is the very last weekend to early vote. Right, Sean, it has already been a very busy weekend on both sides of the aisle. Now, both candi uh, candidates have been making stops in Georgia as well as their surrogates. In fact, they've been making frequent stops, really just showing how important the state of Georgia is in this race. It's now coming down to the wire. Election day is nearing, and with it being the last weekend of early voting in Georgia, both presidential candidates are making some serious final pushes for votes, either through their own campaign efforts or through running mates and surrogates. We're going to turn Georgia red. We're going to take the whole country with us. Vice President hopeful J.D. Vance making a stop in Atlanta Saturday morning. We don't want San Francisco liberal policies. We want to close down borders. So Kamala Harris, you're fired. Go back to California where you belong. And Governor Brian Kemp also holding a get out the vote rally in Forsyth County. They brought in Bruce Springsteen, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Julia Roberts. You know, all these people, the thing about them, they don't live here. On the other side of the aisle, Vice President Kamala Harris's camp pushing for votes at the Morehouse homecoming tailgate. Senator Raphael Warnock and Representative Jasmine Crockett were among the crowd. I want to see a woman president. Uh, I think uh, she's uh, composed. Uh, I think uh, I met her a year ago in uh, New Orleans. And I, like, I'm confident that she can get the job done. This as Harris campaigns in Michigan alongside former First Lady Michelle Obama. She's putting herself out there fearlessly facing down even her harshest critics. She's seeking out Republicans to find common ground. Georgia certainly is a battleground state and is shattering early voting records with a number already over two and a half million votes. I think it's important to know where the early voting is, uh, where the numbers are running, whether it's urban versus rural. And there is still a busy weekend left ahead of us. We're told that the second gentleman will be making a stop here in Metro Atlanta tomorrow with the former President Trump making a return to Atlanta on Monday at Georgia Tech. We're live in Midtown tonight. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First. And this week, Democratic Vice President.